Welcome back. Well, for some good news, it appears the tide may be turning on the youth gender transition craze. As we've seen and know to be true, puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and gender surgeries for children have proven time and time again to be far more dangerous than beneficial, often leaving the victims in worse physical and mental health than ever before. The gender mutilation that's taking place across the nation should be widely regarded as harmful and needs to be stopped immediately. Thankfully, the refreshingly irrational American College of Pediatricians is urging their fellow physicians to reject the harmful protocols surrounding gender-affirming care. Take a listen to their powerful statement. We have serious concerns about the physical and mental health effects of the current protocols promoted for the care of children and adolescents in the United States who express discomfort with their biological sex. So we are calling on these medical organizations of the United States including the American Academy of Pediatrics, the Endocrine Society, the Pediatric Endocrine Society, the American Medical Association, the American Psychological Association, and the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry to follow the science and their European colleagues and immediately stop the promotion of social affirmation, puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries for, sur for children and adolescents who experience distress over their biological sex. I sure hope all medical organizations are listening loud and clear. Joining us now to discuss, author of the book, From Queer to Christ, My Journey into the Light, George Carneal. Thank you so much for being with us. It's great to have you on the show. George, what is your response to the American College of Pediatricians putting this statement out? I mean, better late than never, right, I suppose. But do we really need a presser to let the world know how awful this is? And why is this even happening to begin with? I'm glad that they finally put it out. You are right, better late than never. But it's outrageous when they would not listen to these same uh, medical insiders who were not only sounding the alarm, but the numerous LGB or the trans individuals who were detransitioning sounding the alarm on social media. And I know for a fact that their voices were being silenced. They were being threatened and harassed. And again, it's it's better that it happened now, but... Allison, as you know, there are a lot of people in this world who just take whatever these medical organizations or the World Health Organization, what they say, they just take it as the truth. They don't question anything. And I think we are lacking in critical thinking skills. But again, the real question is how many lives have been harmed as a result of this transgender ideology? Yeah, that's that is the ultimate question, and it is astounding to me that uh, you know the voices of the detransitioners are just silenced and shut down. Many of them canceled off the internet when they are speaking their personal experiences and the harm and danger that's been done to them. Uh, I think it tells a lot when uh, you know they are their voices are suppressed and um, you know this agenda keeps them from speaking the truth. Obviously, no child is born in the wrong body, and it's absolutely cruel to try and convince children other. Otherwise. But what do you think, George? Can we expect other medical organizations and associations to join in here and eventually have these disgusting, harmful gender transition surgeries for minors outlawed in America, as we've now seen happen over in Europe? I don't think Allison is going to change unless the laws are in place that those who practice this butcher job on these children who are threatened to have their license taken away and they are arrested and they spend decades in prison. I don't think it will stop because, as you know, money is the bottom line in this game, and they are getting rich off of these people. And sadly, it's the trans individuals who are left to pick up the pieces of their lives as these doctors get rich. Yeah, it is absolutely devastating. And, you know, I, I'd still love to know why gender dysphoria is really the only, the only mental disorder that is treated with affirmation. I mean, we don't affirm anorexia or other similar disorders, so doesn't affirming the illness ultimately prove that there is a truly sick agenda at play here? Oh, definitely. The agenda behind the agenda. They don't give a rat's behind about these children or anything. It is an agenda to destroy the family unit and to destroy these children. They are absolutely uh, going after these children. And if they can warp their, warp their minds, imagine what this world is going to be like in another 10, 15, 20 years. They absolutely don't care. It's all about money and the agenda and silencing Christians and all opposition to this agenda. 
That's exactly right. That's exactly what this is about. And uh, it should should raise red flags for everyone, regardless of, you know, your your faith or your whatever political side you fall on. This is a nonpartisan issue. So uh, I think everyone should be getting involved here. But just to further prove how sick the agenda really is, uh, the U.S. Department of Education is now openly flying the newest version of the pride flag out in front of their building. Uh, you know, it's funny. I just have to ask, why do they get so upset and we, when we call them exactly what they are, uh, groomers, when they just openly advertise their perverse motives here? I mean, this is the, the U.S. Department of Education. <laughs> well, Allison, as you know, there, the hypocrisy knows no bounds with Democrats. Uh, we are held to a higher standard. Uh, those of us who oppose this agenda, uh, they they refuse to accept any responsibility. And it's interesting when even in my own life, when I have gay men and others tell me, why don't you mind your business and shut up and stop saying what you're saying and stop pushing your beliefs on me, but they will turn around and absolutely shove their beliefs down our throats. And we are expected to just swallow it and shut up and put up with it. And I still don't understand why these organizations and these corporations who are losing billions of dollars what, at what point are they going to wake up and realize the American people and people are around the world are sick of this agenda, uh, but that yet they keep pushing it? There's, there's a disconnect somewhere, but they're not going to stop. Yeah, unfortunately, I think you are correct. They will probably never stop uh, unless somehow miraculously they are all thrown in jail where they belong. Uh, George, yeah. in other absurd news, the Canadian Cancer Society is currently under fire for accidentally being politically incorrect, uh, they just issued an apology for not calling the cervix uh, a front hole in a non-binary web page dedicated to cervical cancer, saying that men can have these parts too. George, if medical institutions keep just flat out lying to people like this, what is our world going to look like in, I don't know, five, ten years from now? Right. And Allison, the question for me is, is why is it that this very few minority, but yet we know that they are vocal and they're just militant, they are terrorists, uh, they're hateful, they're spiteful, they try to shout down and destroy anyone who disagrees with them. Why, are, why do they have so much power until these organizations stop cowering to them and putting up and say, we're not putting up with this nonsense anymore, it's not going to stop. But sadly, when you've got uh, a beta male cuck running Canada, who fully support that agenda, of course they're going to uh, back down and, and allow these terrorists to get away with what they do. Um, I'm hoping if we can change the current administration here in America, we will get somebody in office who actually has the backbone and hopefully will shut this down. Yeah, I sure hope that it's possible, though. I'm not too confident because I am under the... Um the assumption that the elections may not be free and fair anymore, but hopefully that can change. I, I'm hoping that I'm wrong there. Um, before Me we wrap too. up, George, uh, I have this video that I think perfectly embodies the type of people that support uh, the LGBT pride and, and, you know, this ongoing attack on our children, this like maybe one or two percent that you just referred to. Let's take a look at someone who's been completely infected with the dangerous progressive ideology mind virus possibly even, I don't know, demon-possessed. Let's take a look at his views on trans women and abortion. The first trans woman to have a successful uterus transplant, ovaries and eggs included. And I want to be the first trans woman to have an abortion. This is beyond anything that I can even really comprehend. This mentally ill man wants to have surgery so he can pretend to then be a woman for the sole purpose of killing an innocent baby just to further confuse rational thinking people. I mean, this is just pure evil. What happened to locking these types of people up in a padded cell? <laughs> uh, well, unfortunately, they are all rampant in the Democrat Party, so we can't <laughs> round them all up and put them in uh, asylums again. You know, Allison, the only upside to that video is that people would not believe us. Yeah. unless they had done something like that. And now people can actually see how sick, twisted, perverted, and demonic these individuals are to think that uh, I'm going to change my gender and then, of course, murder a baby in the womb. I I'm glad that it's out there for people to see. But, you know, Allison, what's sad is most 
of the people in this country are so brainwashed and so woke, just a bunch of dimwits who's, who will just let it go in one ear and out the other and will still vote for the same party, the same policy, and who cares if it's destroying the lives of these children? Yeah, unfortunately, I think you are right about that. But hopefully that is a good point. You know, the, this type of information is out there now for the world to see the mental illness is on full display, paraded around and embraced. Uh, I hope people see it for what it is and, uh, and start using their vote to actually uh, put it towards something that matters and can turn this country around. George, we are all out of time for today. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Allison. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.